series of videos I will show you how to use Q-Link from Interactive Data to get real-time quotes into Excel Trader. First thing you want to do is start Q-Link. Make sure it's running. Launch Excel. Now you can use any Excel Trader template you want. Today I'm going to use a high-low template. When asked if you want to download from Yahoo, say no. The number of bars only needs to be slightly larger than the number of bars you intend to download from Q-Link because Q-Link shifts the bars up. You will not be getting more bars over time. It'll stay at the number of bars you download. Today I'm going to get 500 bars so I'll set this to 600 rows and that'll give me some room for some forecasting. Now to bring the data in from eSignal I'll click on cell G1 here then on the add-ins tab I'll select historic table I'm going to get S&P 500, one minute bars. I'll use reference. I'll show you why we like this. It saves us time later. And the variables I need are intraday time, open, high, low, last, and volume. I'm going to get 500 bars. And then this important down here, select reversed oldest bars first. Sometimes it takes it a minute to get, or not a minute, but it takes a little time to get the data off the server. Now one thing I've noticed is it's best to just reference this data. If you try to copy it into the, the rows, Excel Trader rows over here, it doesn't work as well. But the first thing I want to do is I want to put some text in cell M1. I'll just put it, some X's in there. Now the reason why I do that is because when we add our own indicators, it's going to look in this row and it'll stop at uh, column in and we don't want it to override our our data feed so it's important to put some uh, text there also their add-in overwrites the formatting in in my call my row here so I'm gonna reformat that copy I'm gonna paste special formatting so that I can see what's written there. Now the way you do this reference is very easy. You just write an equation. You say this cell equals and then click on in this case the enter day time. Hit return and you do the same thing for open, high, low, and close equals Now, since I've got the correct order there, I can just drag that a formula across. And I'll drag these formulas down. Oops. <coughs> now, as you can see, this cell here is referencing that cell and we have our data. If you look on the chart you don't see anything. You have to and you have to do this whenever you paste your own data into the Excel Trader templates. You have to rescale the chart axes. There's our data. Now the reason why we want to use reference is because all these formulas are looking at this cell here. If, let's say, we wanted to look at a different symbol, maybe we want, we want to look at Russell 2000. Just change it in that one place. 
and it goes and gets the data again rescale your axes and you have your Russell 2000 data so this spreadsheet can be saved with any kind of name and when you pull it up again it will get the most recent 500 bars of one minute data so I can just call this anything one minute uh, Link. Now I could set up similar spreadsheets for say five minute bars or ten minute bars or daily bars. It, it really doesn't matter. Once I have that spreadsheet set up, I can reopen it. And it's right there where I left off, only with the most recent 500 bars. In the next video I will show you how you handle the fact that the uh, data is scrolling off this chart and as opposed to being added to it like a typical Excel trader chart. So I'll be back in a minute with part two of this series to show you how to fix an indicator like a Midas or a spiral or a can box to a particular bar. <laughs>